Hello and welcome to The Dog Shop, a short little adventure, uh, adventure horror game developed by Atelier Sento. Well, it's, I assume, about managing a bunch of dolls. Let's see what it's about. New game. And same thing with the other game I played, Yurei Station. Everything is hand-drawn with uh, watercolors. First day. Okay. Not it off again. How oh, unprofessional. Oh, it looks like, you know, the doll makers doesn't seem, uh, you know, very passionate at the moment. Or at least not passionate, but rather uh, satisfied with his work. We better get back to work. Yeah, he's not having the time of his life, you know, making dolls, I guess. I wonder, can you save, by the way? Hmm, there's nothing here. Menu. You can save. I do know that there are multiple endings for this game, by the way. You know, looking at the store page. So, yeah. Oh, yeah I, I don't know if I mentioned, but I, I think I said it. But I'll say it again. It's from, uh, this game is, is available on Ichio, by the way. I don't know if I said it. Anyway, look around. Hmm, it's a doll. She's almost finished. Just needs a touch of red on her lips and cheeks and she'll be perfect. The red? Okay. Touch of red, right? And then... <laughs> like, okay, she'll do it for me. I'll be horrible. <laughs> It'll be funny if I do it myself. It would look bad. And uh, on her cheeks as well, right? Oh, there's no color. I got a little bit more. Cheeks. Gotta add a little blush. Like makeup. Sort of. There, she's ready. Time to make the delivery. Hmm. Mrs. Fujimoto didn't give me an address or telephone number. How am I supposed to contact her? This is embarrassing. Oh, wow. The power of just transforming into your clothes very fast. I'll ask around the village. Somebody must know her. Okay. Actually, I actually want to see more of the back of that uh, over here. I want to see if there's anything else to interact with. Like the clock. It's about four. Over here. No dolls. Hmm, anything to look at? Oh, we can look at our eyeballs, you know, but when I when I say look at, I mean like click on. I'm gonna click on something. And this actually loops back, actually. Okay. I'm gonna look at this. These dolls are very beautiful, but they are difficult to sell. People prefer to buy cheaper products. Yeah. I don't imagine these to be very, uh, marketable for the masses. Maybe you need to start, like, an Etsy or something? What's it called? You know, the thing where you, like, do a lot of handcrafted stuff, but you sell it on the internet or whatever? Not now. What's over here? Not now. I think I'll all look at this poster. Hmm. That little girl disappeared over the summer. I've put a poster out of consideration for the parents, but I have no illusions. New poster found. Oh. I didn't say the game says that, not, not the character. It'd be funny if the, if the character said, New poster found, one out of five. Oh, yes. No, he didn't say that. Hmm. Girato? Is that what it says? Girato? Or, if, or is it just gifto? You know, just like gift. I'm not sure. What was this? It's already the new year. Time flies. That's pretty creepy. You know, putting like heads on a stick. I guess that's how you make dolls, though. You gotta, you gotta craft the body parts. I wonder how accurate it is to the human body. Do you have to craft the organs too? You know, how 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 passionate about your craft are you, Mister? I love winter. You do? I hate winter, by the way. Maybe it's because I live in Canada, but I hate winter. I, I, I don't really like- I, I kind of dislike all the seasons, to be honest. 
<laughs> I don't know. I just don't like any of the seasons. Like summer is too hot, winter is too cold, fall is too windy, and spring just causes me to have a bunch of allergies. So I just don't like any of the seasons. Anyway, everything is so peaceful when it's snowing. It's also really cold, man. Now I've been wearing a hat. You know, get on your hair, and you, you, your face is gonna just like get wet, and then you gotta have snot because it's so cold. I have to repaint my sign. It's becoming hard to read. Hmm. I can walk. Over here, I guess. Over here. I assume we're in like a small little village, a small little rural Japanese village where nothing bad totally happens ever in any kind of story, right? Totally. Is that ramen? Mmm, delicious. Can I get some ramen? Place first. The selection is limited, but the noodles are good. The selection, oh, there's that. Another poster. First, all the conversations are about the missing girl. It's rare now. New poster found. Hmm. Can I? Oh, I didn't mean to leave. Actually. I wanted to see if I can like move around in the uh, in the shop, just like doll shop, you know. But I guess not. Can't really look around, so or well, you can't like you know cursor around and everything, but you can't move the scene. So I guess I'll just call the owner. Who's the owner? A person just like <laughs> just not even colored, or rather they are colored, but not in a very human way. You're a bit early. We open in the evening. I'm looking for someone named Mrs. Fujimoto. Fujimoto? Doesn't ring a bell. Mm, thanks anyway. Oh, it's nothing. Hey, if you don't have any plans tonight, come eat here. I'll have to see how tired I am. Okay. Yeah, we don't know Mrs. Fujimoto's like actual address. I don't imagine it to be a very big place, so she has to be here somewhere. She's the one that ordered it anyway. Last restaurant in the village. Fortunately, I love ramen. Ramen is delicious. Mm -hmm. Oh, train tracks here. Walk past the train tracks. Uh, can I walk over here first? What's still left? I guess we're just exploring. Do -do -do -do. Anything over here? Oh, there's a train station. The station. It's been a while since I took the train. Oh, I can look at it again, but... What should do there? And not, uh... Oh, go over here, no? The station is empty. The train leaves later on, or earlier. I don't quite remember. Yeah, nothing too interesting there, I guess. I keep looking at the station, because <laughs> I keep thinking there's like little things to interact with, but it's just the station itself. And him saying that, oh, I've never been on a station for, uh, for quite a while. Or been on a train, rather. What's over here? What's up? Shrine? Maybe? We're heading towards a shrine anyway? I don't know if I should be going this way. This seems <laughs> is a bad idea. Uh, it seems I'm going to the spirit world, just like, you know, in Yure Station. Well, at least into a house, actually. What's over here? Maybe Mrs. Fujimoto is over here. I meditate for a moment in front of the shrine. Oh no, it's just a shrine, okay. Well, because I, I couldn't tell, because usually a shrine has little, like, uh, 
like a thing in front of it where you like put coins in. When I think of shrines, especially you know Japanese shrines, I think of that. But I don't see one. I wonder, can you hold the mouse down? No, you can't hold it. I gotta keep. Going. Gotta click every time to move somewhere. Just looking RTS, I guess. Can't hold it down. Let's, uh, you know, it seems like a, there's a few places to go. What's over here? How's that, actually? What's over here? The main shop in the village. They sell a little of everything. I see. What's this? Vending machines. There's nothing I want. Is there nothing you want? Not even a hot drink? Let's go in the shop. Let's see if uh, we can ask them about Mrs. Fujimoto. Explore. And now uh, look at this funny face, no? Uh, look at this. Another poster. Okay. The posters are more discreet these days. People wish to forget. Hmm. I wonder if finding the posters is key to like getting like a particular ending. I don't know. Anyway, I'm the owner. What can I get for you? Uh, I'm looking for Mrs. Fujimoto. Do you know her? She does come here from time to time. I believe she lives in the northern part of the village. Near the public baths? Maybe. You should try asking them. Thanks. Okay. See ya. It seems like everyone in the village, though, is... Weird, like... Dark blue blobs. <laughs> you know, no one has a real face. But I guess that's uh, that's just an artistic choice. Not so much that uh, that they are literally weird blue aliens. I don't think that's the case. Anyway, we kind of looped back. I was wondering though, can we we can like kind of walk over here? I wonder what happens if we walk past the track. So now we know that Mrs. Fujimoto is in the north. So obviously, as a gamer. <laughs> I do the opposite and try to explore everywhere, everywhere else instead. Because obviously that's what you do. Hmm. The path is vanishing in the snow. I guess we shouldn't go here, because I don't think we can. Uh, how about over here? Can I go over here? Let's go deep in the forest for, for no discernible reason. Don't worry about it. I like to explore, so... This is what happens when you give me the option to explore. I just go to the wrong areas and... Look at things. Hello. What do you call these? I forget what you call them, but you know, little like statue things. Is it Jinzo? Jinzo? Something like that. Well, nothing, nothing to do there, though. I like the music. The music, well, I mean, it fits the mood, you know, the very somber mood. The snow is nice looking when you're not in it, you know? Again, I don't like winter, but you know, it does look nice. It's nice and peaceful. And everything, as long as I'm not under the snow, I guess it works. It is quite blindy. I'm just, I just remember, you know, on a, like a, a like a, a quiet day in the winter, when the snow is piled up. You know, I mean, depending on where you live, you might not be, not you might not uh, get it if you live in a place where it doesn't snow usually. But for me anyway, whenever I see like a bunch of just snow layered up in the in a sunny day, it kind of hurts my eyes actually. You know, because it's so blinding. It's so white. And blinding and reflects the sunlight and it just it just burns my eyes. That's just what it reminds me of. Hey, the public baths from time to time I'll come here after work. I guess. I don't know, I'm gonna go inside, why not? Ah, it's closed. The door's not locked. Maybe someone's here after all. You can look inside anyway. Hello. Explore the place. Can I look I guess the only thing we could do when we explore, like, uh, you know, an area is to look at the poster. Once again. 
the whole village swung into action to find the little girl. In vain. New poster fail? Okay. Hmm. I wonder if uh, the little girl has something to do with this character. Another one of you. The same guy. It looks like you're all the same guy. You always have you always have a hat, you know, and interested in taking a bath. I'm delivering a doll to Mrs. Fujimoto, in fact. I heard she lives near here. Yeah, she's a regular. It's the second house to the right of here. Oh, perfect. Thanks a lot. They're all the same. They always have like a, you know, you can tell like they have, they're wearing a little jacket. And they have like a cap. It, it seems like the same person. In every shot. Okay, I assume it's this house? Is it a weird window? Is it a window or a mirror? Weird like circle mirror window thing. I guess it's over here. This is Fujimoto. Excuse me, someone home? Oh, it's you. I brought, brought back the doll. There you go. Oh, it's so beautiful. It almost looks alive, doesn't it? Hmm. I don't know if I want that doll to be alive, but... I took the liberty of adding a touch of red to her cheeks. You know, I really care about this doll. My grandma gave it to me when I was very small. Ah, uh, I understand. Well, she's home now. I don't know how to thank you. Would you like a cup of tea? That's very kind of you, but I have a lot of work to do. I'll just go heat the water. <laughs> okay. Um. None of it matters. I can't save. Ah, well, come on. Yeah, let me save before making decisions. Gosh. Anyway, um. Okay, fine. We'll have to, we have to be polite. It must be it must be difficult for a young man such as yourself to live in a desolate village like this. Hmm. I keep myself busy enough with my work. But you need to think about the future as well. Wouldn't you like to get married eventually? I'm um I still have time for that. Time flies faster than you think. You'll be old before you know it. I can introduce you to some young women if you're interested. I'm not that old. My I'm not that old myself. See, is that what she's saying? Was <laughs> she flirting? She flirting? Run away! No, get away! Uh, please, please, I leave me alone. <laughs> okay, this is a very harsh reaction. Thank you for the tea. I must be leaving now. I'm sorry to upset to upset you. No, it's nothing. Goodbye. It's just that you're all weird blue blobs to me. You know, I, I can't. <laughs> It'll be too weird. That's the, that's the real affliction. That's the reason why. Because they all look like blobs to him. No. Um, leaving Mrs. Fujimoto's place puts me in a poor mood. I take a deep breath. The cold air burning my lungs. I need to take my mind off things. Okay. Again, kind of a harsh reaction. Like, maybe you want to get with me, and it's like, leave me alone, get out, get away. I only like dolls. Ugh. Anyway, uh, where are we going? We're gonna get our mind off things, I guess. I... The score. What's the score? Oh, unlocked endings and posters. Okay, interesting. Save. What I don't know what saving even does, to be honest. I press save, but there's no save slot, so... Click on that. I don't know if there's a way to load. Yeah, there's no load, so... I don't think there's a reason to save. In case, uh, maybe the game might crash or whatever. Then maybe I can, like, go back. Open the game again and resume. Oh, it's you. How can I serve you? The usual. Of course, to keep your mind off things, get some ramen. Ramen never betrays me. Here you go, the chef's special ramen. Ta-da. Excellent. 
I'm glad you came. Diners are so rare these days. Hmm. Uh, it's because of the snow. People prefer to stay at home. Back in the day, we were always so full. People were coming in to celebrate good news or to forget bad ones. Lovers would meet in secret around a bowl of my noodles. There's still a chance for those days to return. Don't know, sure hope so. Well, it's getting late. I should get going. I need to close up. Careful not to slip out in the dark. No, well, actually, I was thinking, I was thinking how the the people do look the same, but actually, this guy's not wearing like a cap. So maybe they do look. They're still wet. Do look. Anyway, good night. Oh, it's night time. Uh oh, spooky. Spooky night time. I guess we'll just go home though. You know, that's what we're supposed to do, so we'll just go home. La 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 la. Time to go home. Nothing out of the ordinary here. And the vending, vending machines are always available for you 24 7. Fly collection. Observe. Okay, I'm, I'm observing. Mm, nothing here. Can't wait for my new butterfly to arrive. Okay, do you order butterflies? Is that what you do? That's your hobby? You know, other than, you know, making dolls, I guess his hobby is pinning butterflies on the walls, which I guess is normal, <laughs> but it's always a bit weird to me. Because you're, you're basically pinning dead corpses on your walls. I, I, I don't know. But I guess it's normal. I mean, a lot of people... I mean, at least from what I've seen from movies, it seems like a lot of characters tend to do that. They just pin like, little butterflies on the walls. It's like, I don't know what you call it. I mean, I guess it's very similar to taxidermy. You know? Pinning, like, dead animals on your walls. I guess that's just a thing. Anyway. It doesn't seem like anything to do. So I guess call? What are you calling? Is that a phone? It's me, uh, hope you weren't too bored. Oh. I didn't have a chance to take care of you today. There was work to do. Mrs. Fujimoto was very kind, but didn't pay me. What? <laughs> didn't pay me? I couldn't bring myself to ask her. Of course, she spoke about marriage again. I didn't tell her I already have someone. She wouldn't understand. Alright, talking to a doll. I'm glad you're here. Sometimes I feel so lonely. Well, it's starting to get late. I should sort my butterflies before heading to bed. Call me if you need anything, okay? Okay. Okay. An inanimate doll. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, anything else? I could do that. Uh, yeah, butterfly. Each butterfly is unique. You can enter a secret world just by looking at them. This world is mine. That is a good, you know, Vocaloid song? That's the name, Iku? Uh, I feel safe here. Let's see. Is it like, uh, like a little puzzle game? Does it fit there? I'll put it over here. This big one over here. No, uh, over here rather. Yeah. Hmm. Missing one then. Yeah. Where's the big one? Where's the last one? I don't know. Where's the last one? I don't know where the last one is. You can pin them though. Oop. I'm assuming these are real butterflies. It could just be fake ones too. You, know, you can also have just the fake butterflies instead. But still, when you really think about it, you know, it's like it's, this is kind of brutal. It's pinning a bunch of dead corpses on the wall. Uh, that's, that's how I feel about it. 
Anything else? Hello? Hmm. Again, I'm still missing a butterfly. I don't know where you... The butterfly. Do I leave now? No, it doesn't look like uh, my character can leave at the moment. Okay, look at it. Oh, I have to click on it. I ordered this one weeks ago. It's arriving from far away. Okay, it's still coming. I'll check into the grocery store tomorrow. Maybe they received it. I'm tired. I should sleep now. Well, you keep making, you keep doing that, you know, that pose. Makes you look like you're gonna go insane or something. Hmm. Okay. Got all these silhouettes. Another night where I sleep poorly. Shadows in the dark. They're staring at me. Second day. Until the moon crashes into the village? No, maybe not. My troubled sleep is broken by the ringing of my phone. Yes, Moshi Moshi. It's Mrs. Sato, one of my regulars. Her voice is trembling. I can only understand one or two words. The one thing is for sure. It's an emergency. Oh no. What's going on? I also saw like another silhouette. You saw all those silhouettes, by the way, in the when he was sleeping. Uh, we saw the shopkeepers, Mrs. Fujimoto, and the doll, but there was another person. I don't think we saw. I don't know if I missed him. But there's one more silhouette we didn't see before. Maybe it's Mrs. Sato? I visited Mrs. Sato many times. She lives over in the house farthest to the west. Okay. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go, go. Come on, run. You know, it's an emergency. You're not sprinting. Or at least maybe sprinting, you know. I was wondering, maybe I should ask for help from the other villagers, you know? But maybe we should hurry instead of delete alley. Yeah, maybe I didn't go over here before. That's a house. Somewhere, what's that? I don't know what that over there is. I can't go to it, though. I guess over here. Excuse me, is anyone home? Hey, well, it's an uh, old lady. Oh, thank God you're here. I came as quickly as I could. What's the problem? Oh, it's horrible. Can I... Can, oh, can I see the doll? Follow me. I left it where it fell. Okay, the emergency is probably she broke a doll. How did this happen? My granddaughter, I told her to be careful. I see. Children lack respect these days. Oh, there's the other silhouette. There you go. Hey, I'm not a kid anymore. And uh oh, she's not the. You know, she's not like a dark blue blob. Which means she's important to the story. Oh, sorry. It's true, I can be clumsy sometimes. But I'm just as sad that the old doll is broken. Dolls are fragile, they're not toys. Are you the doll repairer? I am. Grandma tells you you can make miracles happen. Please, take good care of our doll. How about you pay me? Uh... You should have been careful in the first place. I feel so guilty. Do you have a box I can use? And I imagine as well, you know, this guy who, t who talks to dolls, probably, uh, you know, he does, he probably does treat it as an emergency, like as if a real person got hurt or something. The doll is badly damaged, so it'll take some time. I'll call you when she's finished. Oh, thank you so much. See you. See you.
Once outside, I realize my heart is beating wildly. I stop and wait for it to calm down. The doll weighs as much as a small child in my arms. Can I go back, Ashley? I wouldn't want to disturb. Because uh, there are posters around the village and everything. I imagine there's one more place I haven't visited where that poster would be. I guess let's just go back, though. supposed to be I'm not sure actually is that maybe the station I haven't went to the station yet or rather I have but I haven't seen like a poster in the station as you imagine there'll be you, you would think there'll be a poster at the station right but I don't see one That any, I don't know. I don't know if it matters though. Collecting all the posters probably. It's just for uh, you know collection's sake. Not for any kind of special reward, as far as I know. At least I don't think so. But anyway, let's go back to our shop and fix that doll. It's our job after all. Now, are we getting paid though? Yeah. You know, again, Mrs. Fujimoto didn't pay us. I don't know if these people are going to pay us. How do we want to pay our bills? You know? Then again, I guess we do live in a small village. Maybe, you know, the cost of living is not that high. Relatively. Okay, I have work to do. Alright. Hmm. Need some glue, maybe? Eh, no? I'll do it later, okay. Over here. And over here. And here's her nose. The nose, nose. Almost all better. Just need some glue for it to hold. Strange, there is one shard left. I should just keep it just in case. Weird, okay. Oh, it's in the thing, okay. Interesting. Glue. You know, just apply some mustard. <laughs> At least, you know, that's what the bottle reminds me. It was just yellow mustard. There, I should let it dry until tomorrow to be sure. I managed to finish my work early today. This is a good opportunity to go to the public baths. Baths? Public baths. Let's go take a bath. Sure, why not? Mm. Never buy anything from the vending machine. Let's see. The bath should be up, right? And just to double check. I wonder if we can go back to Mrs. Fujimoto's place. I don't know if I, did I explore? Did I see like a poster maybe? Ah, never mind. Damn it. Oh whatever, that's fine. Let's just go take a bath. Now, I clicked on this poster before, right? I think I did already. Yeah, four out of five. Still missing one, I don't know where you get the last one. Let's call the owner. Interested in taking a bath? I think it's going to do me some good. Well, you're lucky. There's nobody else here today. To be honest, I was just about to close. And now we're squeaky clean. Uh, nothing beats a hot bath after a work day. Hello? You have like, you know, the way you're drawn, you have big blushes on your cheeks, by the way. Similar to the dolls. Uh, oh, it's you. Good evening. Are you new to this village? I'm only here for a few days. I work in town. 
I... I don't want to embarrass you, but... What is it? You... Don't you recognize me? I rarely go into town. I used to live here with my grandma when I was a kid. We were at the same school together. Not in the same class, though. I'm two years younger than you. You were quite reserved, and it was kind of annoying me, so one day... Oh, that was you? You were a real terror. <laughs> yeah, so look out, I haven't changed. Well, I have, a little. I had to. I'm happy to see you after all these years. I'm ashamed I didn't come back sooner. Your grandmother must be ecstatic. Well, I'll leave you to your bath before it closes. By the way, you can come over to my shop tomorrow, if you'd like to, of course. Now we're flirting. I like you, I like to introduce you to my dolls. <laughs> That's kind of a strange excuse for an invitation, but sure, why not? Totally not a weirdo that talks to dolls like a crazy person. See you tomorrow then. I'll turn you into a doll. I mean, what? See you. Oh, uh, wait. You forgot something in the cloakroom. Of a piece of doll thing? It's not mine. You were my only customer today. It's a doll piece, isn't it? It's gotta be you. Y yes, but... Here, take it. Or I'll throw it away. Another piece. I guess I'll take it and leave. Three doll pieces, I guess. A good bath always makes me hungry. And it gets goes to the ramen. Ramen every single day. Well, it's a good thing ramen, there's different types of ramen, right? You can't get sick of it because it's, uh, you can get different flavors. Different types. So, it's fine. Unless you're sick of soup, I guess. Soup and noodles. You look like you're in a good mood today. I've met someone. The Sato girl. How did you know? It's rare to have a newcomer. Everyone's talking about it. Oh. Let's celebrate. The usual? Uh, yes. Excellent choice. Sorry I'm late again. Oh yeah, I forgot to... Uh, I don't know... Well, I guess it's too late now, but... I also wanted to go to the grocery shop to check on uh, the new butterfly. I guess it didn't come yet, though. You know, or to check whether or not it did come, but... I guess it doesn't matter. I had work today. A broken doll this time. A real wreck. Yes, it's sad that people don't take care of their dolls. Do you remember Mrs. Sato? The granddaughter is here. She's changed so much that I didn't recognize her. But she's kept her temperament. You, you liked her, I think. I'm glad you're taking it well. I was afraid you'd be jealous, huh? Anyway, there's nothing to fear. She, lo she lives over in town. She'll be gone soon. But I hope she'll stay a little bit longer. I need to introduce her to you. My talking... My, my inanimate doll friend. Totally not weird and creepy at all. Totally normal. The third day. Is anyone home? Oh, uh, hello. Excuse my, you know, messy hair. Am I too early? Sorry. It's okay. I've been having trouble sleeping lately. Oh, me too. I've been having strange dreams. Nightmares? Not really. I've been dreaming of a dark room with red walls. Um, that's it. I just stand there in the dark until I wake up. 
Not sure how to interpret it. Hmm. Eh, don't worry about it. It's just a dream. Dreams often have no meaning. Don't trust them. I suppose we all have a dark side. So this is your workshop. I think I've been here before, when your father was running it. It's been a long time then. Look. I began by gluing the face back together. Fortunately, none of the shards were lost. Now I have to erase the cracks. I need to carefully sand the glue, then paint the face until there are no longer any marks. It's a delicate job. But don't worry, she'll be back on her feet in no time. You speak about dolls as if they were alive. They are alive. In a way. I guess it's normal to see things that way with your job, but... Dolls cannot replace human beings. They know how to listen. They don't judge. People are often cruel. I can't really we're getting into this already. I understand. It's been difficult in town as well. My colleagues, my boss. Sometimes I just can't take it anymore. I want to lock myself in my room and never leave. Well, I'm glad you think that way. As I lock you inside a room and you'll never leave. No, um... I'm glad, I don't know, whatever. I'm glad you came back. Gotta sacrifice too much to live there. I don't know. It's the same for everyone. We just have to live with it. But I must be bothering you with my stories. I'll leave you to your work. I'll see you out. Yep. To be honest, I'm... I'm not sure if I'll see the doll when it's finished. I may leave tomorrow. So soon? I hope you stay longer. I haven't decided yet. I have to think about it. You should take a walk to the shrine. It's quiet there. I go there sometimes when I need to focus. That's a good idea. I can't stand staying inside anymore. I'll be leaving. Goodbye. See ya. You're back already. Uh, maybe, maybe we can meet somewhere tonight. A uh, farewell dinner. Don't be so negative. Anything is still possible. Our choices are what shape our lives, wouldn't you say? That's ominous. Don't just why don't you say that for no reason. You're right. I'm sorry. Is ramen okay? They serve a good one near the station. That should be perfect. How about 6 p.m.? I'll be there. Work hard. And don't bring your dolls. This is between you and me, okay? My no, bring my dolls. Of course. See you tonight. I'll totally bring my dolls. Okay, time to fix this doll though. I'll be able to remove the excess dry glue by sanding it, sanding it down carefully. If I work fast and hard, I can bring her the finished doll tonight. Okay, sand. A little more sanding there. Any more? I guess you can see a little bit. Any any like thick lines you can get you can still sand. Anything over here, I think? Yeah, over here. And over here. It went well. I'll just have to add a final layer of white and... Oh, I'm short of white. I knew I was forgetting something. I'll have to check if they have some white in stock at the grocery store. Oh, well, it's on the way. You can also ask about the butterfly, maybe. Assuming that even matters, you know, it's just like, oh, I have another butterfly to my collection. And somehow that would, like, cause a catastrophe in the village or something. Maybe not. What can I do for you? 
I have a problem. I need white to finish my work. It's urgent. Powder pigment as usual? Yes, please. Let me check. You're lucky. It's the last one. It's been here for a while. I hope it didn't get wet. It looks perfect. There you go. I have something else for you. Uh, what do you mean? You've been bugging me for weeks and now you're forgotten? <laughs> Buggy, get it? Your parcel arrived this morning. Oh, it totally slipped my mind. I'm anxious to open it up. Are you curious to see what it is? Eh, not particularly. Do it at home. It's time I close. Really? So early? It's late. But isn't it morning? I feel like I just woke up. Your work must have been that urgent if you spend the day sleeping. It's 2000 yet. Here, sorry. I guess we slept in? In the beginning anyway, maybe. Or, or maybe time has already moved so fast. What? It really is evening, but I could have sworn. Oh no, my date. My date! Do I get ramen or do I finish the doll? I don't know! Moral choices. I don't know what these pieces do though. They have two pieces, but I don't know if it matters. Hmm. Dolls are more important. I must finish my doll. No? Oh, okay, never mind. I can't do that. We have no choice actually. Instead, we'll uh, go over here and say, hey, sorry I'm late. <laughs> you know, it's like, sorry, like midnight. It's like, uh, oops. Sorry for standing you up. Oh no, she's not here. Ooh, the young girl? You waited a while before leaving. He was furious. Ugh, it's all my fault. Why do I have to fail at everything? If only I had like a watch, you yeah. know? Wear a watch. It's my problem. Calm down, I'm only joking. You're my first customer as always. Oh. <laughs> okay. Don't stare at me like that. It was a joke. Sorry. Oh, wait for my friend. Okay. That was, that was just awkward. Sorry for the delay, I was out walking and lost track of time. Uh, are you okay? You seem upset. Ugh. I was worried I was late. Really? You shouldn't worry about that. I would've waited. So, what do we celebrate tonight? Mm, your doll be almost ready? Uh, no. How about our reunion after all these years? No, oh, but dolls though. <laughs> I'm just going through the doll. I I, I want to get the doll ending, but just my character is obsessed with dolls. <laughs> dolls, dolls, dolls. A good idea. What do you have? Um, you can choose. You're the regular here after all. Excuse me, two chef specials, please. Can I show you something? My doll? No. What is it? I received it today. Go on, open it. I don't know, should, should I open it? Oh, a butterfly. Is it dead? No, it's sleeping. I collect butterflies, you see. You have an aviary? No, I pin them into frames so their beauty never fades. Well, <laughs> then what's the point of ordering them alive? I don't kill them straight away, I put them in a small cage where they can flutter around. That way I can get to know them and later can recall the moments we spent together. This one will be my most beautiful. Whenever I look at it, it'll remind me of you. That's a bit creepy. That's, uh, nice. <laughs> mm. I'm glad you like it. Still, I feel kind of sad for the butterfly. You shouldn't. It's just a bug. It's strange, but I feel a little bit like him. Trapped in my life. 
unable to break free. Okay, I get it. I'll put it away. Here you noodles, lovebirds. Yum. It looks delicious, thanks. Grandma told me about this summer. You mean the little girl who disappeared? I'm trying to understand. I thought that type of thing only happened in town. I thought we'd be safe here. Eh, don't worry about it. She probably just ran away from home. <laughs> it doesn't seem to affect you. I didn't know the victim. That's no excuse. I'm just, be I'm just being, you know, I'm being just the worst guy ever. That's how I'm doing this. Sorry to be a pain, but it seems like no one wants to speak about it. Try to understand. It's not healthy dwelling on the past. You know, we had a similar case in town. A schoolgirl was held prisoner and killed by her classmates. Hmm. Well, reminds me of a real life case, but anyway. The investigation revealed all the neighbors knew about it. But nobody tried to help her. That's horrible. But here? How could she disappear in such a small village? Someone must know what happened, don't you think? Hmm? Crazy doll maker who totally murdered that little girl? I mean, what should I do? If I tell her, if I explain everything, maybe she'll understand. Yes, she's not like the others. Uh, are you okay? I have to tell you something. Got it? No, don't say anything. Let yourself go. Have you heard the news? One week she's been missing. Yeah, it wasn't even ten. If you ask me, the one who did it is a monster. You see, it's not that complicated. Teleports are How with me. The girl baths are empty. What, what do you mean? I hope they find him and make him pay for what he's done. Don't touch me! No, I can't take it anymore. Shut up! Literally. They will never understand, will they? Even her, she will report me as soon as possible. What's that noise? And they leave me alone. Okay, we kind of teleported back here somehow. Hello? Butterfly. Butterfly? In the middle of winter? Butterflies everywhere. Mm. I wonder if they're leading me somewhere. Yeah, this this kind of got like it, it became a fever dream. You know? just, we were eating ramen. Suddenly, we're back here, and now we're following a bunch of butterflies outside. I don't know. I think the character might be a little kooky. A little bit. A little bit, you know, he, he might have lost a bit of his marbles, is all I'm saying. Alright, go back here. Hello? Clearing my head that the smiling Jizo helps me calm down. Close my eyes for a moment. When I opened them, I spot something lying between its feet. Another doll piece? It's a mouth? It's a porcelain shard. A mouth. I hold it to my ear. It whispers. Don't be afraid. Trust me. 
For a minute, I feel less lonely. I regain a sense of hope. Last day. Oh, already? Okay. Last day. We haven't fixed that doll, by the way. I wake up with a terrible headache. The events of yesterday are blurry. I can hardly make out dream from reality. I hope I didn't do anything irreversible. What? The door is open. Did I forget to close it, or did someone enter? And there's the butterfly. Nothing unusual. I probably just forgot to lock it. I really need to be more careful. It's a butterfly. Look at it flutter. I'm going to kill it eventually, I guess. Hello there. I see you've settled in. You're going to like your new home. I'm going to go back to work. I have everything I need to finish the doll now. Are you ready for makeup? Let's hide these ugly cracks. Okay. Well, it's not the right color. Yeah. Do I do this? Blue? How do what do I do? Just put it on, nah. No? Oh, okay. That's how you do it. I want to do a little. Oh, I have to. Every time I have to go back to the palette. Well, that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just happy. You know, it seems like something bad happened. You know, with the little girl and this doll maker. And, you know, the missing girl and everything. I wonder what happened to, uh, you know, what's her face? Mrs. Sato. I wonder if something happened. I don't know. I guess the last real thing that happened was like, oh, shut up, you know, get away from me. You know, in the middle of eating the ramen, he just had a nervous breakdown for some reason. And then he ran off, I imagine. But is that all that happened? I don't know. He was very suspicious. What's going on in this small village and this isolated doll maker? seems. Anyway, that's the last of it. Oop. And now the final touch. Oh. Final touch. Oh yeah, the blush. Uh, I'm gonna make a blush. I'm gonna make a blush. I don't know. I have a little blush. Oh, you're perfect. It's time to return you to your owner. Is that poster always there? What's that? New poster found. Yeah, there you go. That's the last poster. I was wondering where that was. What is this? What is this thing doing here? Someone entered when I was out. They have no right to do that. Always sneaking, talking behind my back. Will they never leave me in peace? It's, if it's a joke, it's a bad one. I had better throw it away. There's something behind it. Another piece? Another one of these doll shards. And I, it makes me uncomfortable. It sees right through me. It knows. No, everything's fine. It's just a joke. Just a prank, bro. Just a prank, bro. joke. No time to leave. I guess we need to give the doll back to the owner by going to the left. This is the house furthest to the west, right? You know, I wonder, I don't know, I probably 
Well, let me just double check. I wonder what happens if you talk to the Roma. I wonder if they say anything, you know? Can I go in here? And ask what happened last time we were here in the first place? Uh, you're a bit early. We open in the evening. Sorry to trouble you. Oh, it's nothing. Hey, if you don't have any plans tonight, come in here. Oh. Let's see how tired. Okay, that's the same doll. This is a generic doll. I was hoping he would say something like, What happened last night? You just kind of freaked out and, you know, spilled all the ramen all over the place. I had to clean it up. What, are you crazy? You know, that's what I was hoping. But I guess not. Instead, we'll simply go over here and then give the doll to Grandma and then go home. And that's it. That's our life. Totally not meet Miss Sato along the way. Excuse me. Oh, how are you? Look who I brought back. Let me look at her. It's incredible. She looks brand new. I can't spot any imperfections. You suppress yourself once again. Is your granddaughter home? I wanted to show her the doll. Oh, you're too late. She's already gone. Back to town? Of course. She has work. Why? Well, we had dinner together last night and I wasn't at my best. I was hoping to apologize. Well, you should hurry. She's probably waiting for a train at the station. Oh, thank you. I'll go there now. We... Uh, wait. Uh, how much do I owe you for the doll? Uh, I don't know. We'll work it out later. That's no good. You gotta, if you're a freelancer, you gotta make a contract, you know, otherwise you're never gonna get paid. Just like Mrs. Mrs. Fujimoto. Uh, quick, the station. Let's hope I arrive on time. Let's walk very slowly. I don't know if there's a sprint button. Pressing right click, left click, there's only two buttons on the mouse. Generally speaking, unless you count the uh, the buttons on the side, if you have like a Razer Naga mouse, which I do, but you know, they don't, they're not really mouse buttons. They're just extra buttons that represent numbers. The station. Been a while since I took the last job. Let's go inside. Not really inside, but you know, go through the station door. So you're leaving after all? Oh, you scared me. Uh, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I've been thinking about it a lot, you know. But this place isn't for me. You really think it'd be better in town? I don't know. We'll see. Think of your... Uh, think of your grandmother. I've made my decision. Please respect it. Don't leave. You'll regret it. <laughs> I'm just being a creep. You know, the more you insist, the more it opens my eyes. There's something weird about this place. It seems so nice in my childhood. I've been holding on to those memories to help cope with my work. I was thinking I could always come back if things got too bad in town. Now I don't know anymore. I think I'll be better off in town after all. And then she turns into a blob. I have to go. I'm sorry. I have nothing against you, but... It's not a good idea to stay here. You should leave as well. This is my home. I know. The blobs everywhere. Blue blob. Farewell. Did she leave? Okay, <laughs> is this the doll? She would have ended up running away anyway. I know. Don't be sad. You have me, and I will never leave your side. <laughs> oh, 
All right, and the butterfly is dead yet. Yeah, the butterfly's dead. What do, we, do you just let this butterfly suffocate? You don't even feed it. Oh my God. Anyway, again, I think it's pretty cruel to do this, but I, I, I you know, it is a pretty, not super common hobby, but you know, people do it. The moment I pin the blue butterfly, I feel like I've stabbed myself in the heart. I think of the train running to the city. I think of the snow that slowly but surely covers everything. I become submerged in silence. Hunched over the shop's darkness, I can only wait. One day, maybe, she'll come back. Alright. I guess this is one ending. Uh, interesting that they... Okay, let's see. You have unlocked ending A. You want your friend's confidence. No, obviously. Your secret is known by you alone. Yes. You saved your childhood friend. That's interesting that it says saved. Yes. And you complete your benefit collection. Yes. Bonus. You found all posters. And then A, B, and C. Validate these four options to unlock additional content. Okay. So getting all the endings... And the posters, which I already did, probably unlock the, you know, extra stuff. Maybe concept art or something? I don't know. And again, the game's graphics were hand-painted with pencils and watercolors by students during a three-day workshop. Amazing. Again, everything is, uh, drawn by hand. Which is pretty cool. So there you go. Again, that's one ending. I think I'll I think I'll, what I'll do I'll try to get the, all the other endings. You know, you might as well. It's a relatively short game, so I might as well try to get all the other the other endings. Uh, we'll see how long that'll take. Cause I don't know. Like I believe well, probably what you should do is you know instead of being a weird creep, uh, try to like you know actually befriend Sato and everything. You can now choose a st uh, the starting day when launching a new game. Okay, interesting. What you say to a childhood friend will influence the trust she has in you. Will she leave the village as soon as possible, or will she stay a little bit more at her own risk? Uh -oh. Starting at day three is enough to influence her decision. Starting on the final day will turn you to the final choice. Hmm, okay, so you start at day three. You can also quit the game leave it for another day. The load menu will now appear in the start screen. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, oh I forgot to pay him. <laughs> that's different. Ah, he'll be back. Alright. That's a little bit different. Let me have a cross password if I head to the shrine. Oh, okay, this is different actually. Okay. Alright. So it seems something has changed. So instead of her leaving directly to the station, she's actually at the shrine. Alright. So let's head to the shrine and go meet up with her and see what she has to say. This time, I guess uh, she's staying a little bit longer maybe? We'll see. Nobody here, as I expected. Before leaving, I noticed an object half buried in the snow. Oh, it's another eye. What's that doing here? Once again, I feel watched. I turn around. I'm alone. I better go home. for a moment, but there's not much here. Oh, okay. I was expecting to meet Mrs. Sato here, but I guess not. That's what it seemed to be leading towards. But I guess we'll just go home. We will. Again, I, I was totally expecting to meet her. 
I guess I'll go home unless she's at the station? I don't think she's at the station though. You're only at the station before. And there's no indication that it was mentioned that she would be the station here. So I guess we'll just go home. Home sweet home. I'm sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have insisted. Oh uh, no, it's nothing. It just came out of nowhere. Uh, have you made your decision? It's not that easy. I was happy to see you again. Without you, I'd probably be already be back in town. I'm already probably back. I can't, I can't, I can't speak. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to stay. I knew it. It's not your fault. We had a good time together. It's just that I have this feeling I left something unfinished in town. I understand. It's okay. You're so withdrawn. You need to learn to say what's on your mind. Awkward silence. Uh, forget it. I'm leaving. Wait. Before you leave, I, I'd like to show you something. I haven't introduced you to my favorite doll. <laughs> you really don't understand anything. It's not surprising you live alone in this old house. It'll only take a moment. Excuse me, but I better go. Okay. You two are always running away. You can't even imagine what I had, that had to endure lately. Well, okay, but quickly, but then I have to go. Okay, follow me. Alright, let's just have to click on something. Click on this, click on the door, I guess. Hey! Look at my creepy butterfly room. I have the feeling I've been here before. I've been so eager to introduce her to you. I don't like this place. You'll see how beautiful she is. You're going to like her, I'm sure. Oh boy. Look who's here. Say hello to my friend. Oh no, it's it's the missing girl. Uh, okay. Don't be afraid. It's not what you think. Oh, come closer. Wait, listen to me. Why are you running away? There's nobody waiting for you outside. Aren't you tired of being alone all the time? Imagine, together, we could be a family. <laughs> okay. I, I won't tell anyone. Please, just let me leave. I got it. Switch out the light. I ask. Forgive me. I didn't intend to hurt you. But don't worry. I'm going to fix it. Uh, uh, that emptiness. I cannot leave it alone. I must heal you. Mm -hmm. Look at the butterfly. Come here. Oh, okay, I gotta use a butterfly as well, obviously. It's the missing piece. Put a, put a butterfly inside, obviously. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Isn't it better this way? I know you love this butterfly. Now it's time to close it. Here's your mouth. Uh, here's your nose. Uh, here's like a piece of your cheek. And here are your eyes. Right there. See, it's easy. It's very easy to fix a human. 
totally. You're perfect. I'm so happy you're here. I'm sorry I had to take such drastic steps, but what else could I do? You understand, don't you? Now, the three of us are a family. You know what? I think we're going to be very happy together. Alright. No family, hooray! I left the room and closed the door behind me. People are going to be suspicious now. They will ask questions. I'll help as much as possible. We'll organize a search party in the forest. And I'll hang a poster in my shop. But they won't ever find you. Okay. Ending C! Alright. You won your friend's confidence. Your secret is known to you alone. You did not save your childhood friend, but you didn't complete a butterfly collection. Oh, oh. But that's ending C, I guess. That's the I murder you ending. And like, I guess the idea, you know, is he confuses real humans with dolls, right? So like, when something is a doll, it's more human to him than an actual human. Is the idea. But he was the... Uh, Assumedly, he's, he was the killer, you know, who killed the little girl, I guess. And just kept her corpse around, imagining her as a doll. Because that's all you need, right? Just a lifeless doll, just, just standing there forever. To uh, preserve her beauty forever as well, just like the butterflies. Alright. Let's see if we can get the other ending then, in that case. I have the feeling I've been here before. Yeah, you've been. You've been here before. I turned off the lights and smacked your face, so... I'm so eager to introduce her to you. I don't like this place. I, I feel like I've died here already in another timeline. You're gonna see how beautiful she is. Here she is. Dead girl. Yeah. Bleh. Oh my god. How do you think? Don't come any closer! Wait, listen to me. Aren't you being tired all the time? We could be a family, you know, which is weird. I think I feel like you're projecting a little bit, buddy. I I understand. Okay, this time we'll just let her leave. Okay, fine. We'll spare her life, even though we're totally gonna get, you know, sent to prison. I wish she had stayed. No, it's not your fault. It's her. She wasn't ready. I wonder if she's going to warn everyone. She, to she totally will. <laughs> Maybe it's better this way, in the end. Mm, but if lines are were. This is a strange world we live in, don't you think? So beautiful, and yet so frightening at the same time. How did I end up this way? I sit at my desk and contemplate the butterflies fluttering in the silence. For now, everything is calm. Soon, I'll hear noises outside. Shadows will gather at the window. Someone will open the door, and it will be the end. Probably the cops. There you go. We got all the endings. So that's the ending where we probably would just be sent to prison. Um, okay, I don't know. I wonder. I guess it doesn't really. Did they really um, imply it either way? Because I was just thinking whether or not he actually killed the little girl. I mean, obviously in ending C, he definitely does kill. You know. Uh, Sato, whatever. That's her name, right? Sato? So, like, it's kind of assumed that he definitely is the killer in that ending. Though I also wonder, like, maybe, you know... Because what, what could be plausible as well is that he simply has... Uh, what's it called? You know, neck... Uh, he, he's just a necrophiliac, you know? 
Like, he didn't actually kill the little girl. Maybe the little girl died from natural causes, you know, and then he found the body. And then, you know, kept her as like a doll. It's still creepy, but he didn't kill her necessarily, is what I like to think, you know? He's just misunderstood. Because that's what it seems to be setting up, you know? Because he's like this person that nobody understands and everything. But he doesn't seem to be like a very evil person necessarily. Like he doesn't kill people, at least not normally, it seems like. So maybe he's just simply found a dead body and then, you know, dolled it up and then, you know, and everything. But maybe, maybe not. Or maybe he really is a killer. I don't know. He doesn't seem like a killer, but then again, well, I don't know. Anyway, later. So after getting all the endings, we get an extra scene maybe? What is this? Grandma, are you home? Uh, sweetheart, is that you? Why are you in the dark? Yes, Grandma, it's me. Oh, I was so worried. You disappeared so suddenly without leaving a trace. We assumed the worst. I'm sorry, I shall let you know. To be honest, she missed you dearly. But I can understand that. She's very fond of you. You? What are you doing here? I came to make an offer. Why don't you come live with us? Okay, this is... I guess this is continuing ending C. The final ending? The third ending, whatever? Okay, okay, maybe that does imply he is the killer, alright. No, no, yeah, no sympathy. He's just a full-on monster. Don't worry about it. He just turns everyone to dolls. Alright. So there you go, I guess that's it for, um... Uh, Doll Shop. It's a creepy... Little game. Whoops, I closed the- closed the- well, let me just open it again, I guess. I was hoping it would just go back to main menu. Now it's just a- now it's just a picture of Stoffel being smug. But anyway. So there you go. That's... The Doll Shop. Or A Doll Shop? The Doll Shop? I think it's THE Doll Shop. Um, yeah, it's, again, it's just a, a creepy little horror game. More creepy than it is, like, you know, full-on, like, scary jump scares or anything. It's just, it's just a very, like, you know? It's just, it's just like, uh, I guess you call it psychological horror, which I, which I like, it actually, you know? It really is just about a story about this, you know, kind of like this serial killer, really, as we've learned. And it's kind of like, uh, kind of like, you know, starts off as a little bit, you know, assuming it's innocent or whatever, but uh, obviously there's a, a sinister uh, subtext, you know, of everything. And obviously it ends pretty horribly in general. I guess the best ending technically would be the one where she just leaves, you know, and then nothing happens. But then again, he still has a dead corpse in his room, so I don't know. I guess there's just no, like, real happy ending because, you know, he's already... He's already has to uh, atone for his sins, you know. Anyway, there you go. Doll shop. I like it. Pretty, you know, just again, just a really creepy little game. <laughs> that, but I like it. And that was it for the doll shop. Um, I guess if you're on YouTube, uh, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch. So check me out over there if you're interested. I also have other playthroughs on the YouTube channel, so you can check that as out as well. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.